Tinkerbell. It's time for Disney 2024. Yeah, Yeah, oh, we're so sad to leave Tinkerbell though. We're through security and we're officially... Yeah, it was not very busy this morning, which is nice. So we were cruising on through. Our flight is at seven and we got here at like 5.40. Checking our bags and doing security took like 10 minutes. There's the Frontera Cochina that we have in our airport here that always makes us think of Disney. It's actually Tordas Frontera here though. And we made it. We just took the little train and now we're gonna go to the baggage claim to get our bags. And then we'll be heading to Caribbean Beach Resort. We don't think our room is gonna be ready yet because it's still pretty early. It's like not even 11 yet, but we'll see. And whenever you come in to buy the baggage claim, you always start getting like your first taste of the Disney magic at the store here. That's always really fun to look in. And that was so quick. We're getting the bags. I just ordered an Uber to CBR. There we go. We're on our way now. Let's go. We made it. Now we're gonna go check in. And we actually just got the notification that our room is ready. Yeah, so we were shocked to see that our room is ready and we just got the notification and it is in Jamaica, building 42, which is kind of what we were hoping for. Oh, and there we go, the smell of the amazing lobby and it's just so fresh and fun in here. We love it. It's just so bright and I love all the colors. Oh, and look, they have balloon swords out. So that's fun too. I can't believe we're back. It's almost like surreal being back in Disney World every single time. Oh, they've got Bluey on the TV over there too. So even though we did the director room check-in and the mobile check-in, we still like to stop at the desk just to talk to them and say hello and get any maps or anything too. And then we got um, Jamie like a birthday button and a couple other things. And now we're waiting out here by Old Port Royale for Bell Services to help us bring these over to Jamaica again, which was one of the nicest things last time we stayed here. We loved the Bell Services to bring the luggage to the room and the little shuttle. It's just a fantastic service that they offer here. I never really noticed, that's a cool detail, the like giant hanging lantern there, kind of in the entry drive up. It's so sad still to just see the sign for airport shuttle departures, because obviously they have like the Mirrors Connect buses, but I miss when this said Magical Express instead. And here we go, we're gonna get into the shuttle to go to Jamaica, this is so exciting. Thank you. This is one of our favorite things last year, and it's really just such nice service. So here we go, we are going to be heading from Old Port Royale over to Jamaica with our bags. This is so exciting. And so we're in Jamaica, heading to Building 42, and then he's going to be bringing our bags behind us up to the room. It is so beautiful here. I just love all the trees in Jamaica. Trinidad didn't have as many like trees like this and look quite as tropical, but this is so cool. 42 right ahead. Yeah, I do like all the plants in this section a lot. Jamaica seems really cool so far. Ooh, I really like that tree with the purple flowers and the skyliner in the back. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, and look at this, this is so cool. The stairs here, like right out at that sandy beach. It's a beautiful view. That tree is seriously so pretty, the one with the purple flowers. And we can see our pool there. And this is so nice. We're gonna walk out to this every day. Walking out and looking at Old Port Royale, the Fuentes del Moro pool, and this beautiful beach. Wow. And we're getting close to our room. So we're gonna see where we are staying this time. And we'll have to find out where the Coke freestyle machines are in Jamaica. But it looks like we might have a water view. We'll see. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay, so here is the room reveal. We were in one of the new Little Mermaid rooms last time, but I think, so this one is one of the refurbished updated rooms, but it is one of the king bedrooms. So we just walked in and we wanted to show off the room before we put down any of our bags and stuff so you can get a feel for how these rooms look when they're all clean and nice. Looks like we've got an air conditioner over in the corner themed along with the rest of the room. And I actually did see, I think um, there are kind of some hidden Mickeys in this here. Oh, there's actually, yeah, quite a few. Nice and tropical. And then we've got a nice table area here. The nice, the 
looks like the like a ship, like the wheel of a ship or something, or something nautical. And then we've got our TV. And I actually do like that we have a corner room, so we have windows on both sides of kind of our little like table seating area. That's really nice. And then, yeah, we kind of look out at the water over there and the beach. It's really nice. And let's check out what the rest of the room has. We've got a lot of drawers and storage space. Nice like soft closing drawers here too. Got our chiller in there, not a fridge. It will not keep things below 41 degrees. So not good for like dairy or whatever, just a chiller. And then we've got our TV of course. They do have a coffee maker here. A lot of drawers for storage space. We got our ice container and just some art on the walls too. It's kind of fun. And another little bench type seating area thing. And then the bathroom's actually pretty nice too. It's a nice big bathroom. You got the two sinks. The mirror is really nice. It's very light and bright. A nice storage shelf over here, extra pillows, blankets, the safe there, hangers, an ironing board, and iron, some storage space underneath there. Let's check out the bathroom. Suspect it'll be pretty standard, but oh, it's kind of interesting how the tub shower has like a little ledge over there, but it looks nice. And then you've got the uh, Disney H2O, which was supposed to be going away or yeah but it still hasn't it's still still happening so but the full bottles on the wall you can't take off and we got the full length mirror here and then the bed and yeah look what we have here we've got one of the new hey disney things which we've always kind of wanted to try i never realized that it was like branded for the 50th on the actual hey disney device but this can like play music play little soundscapes we have a whole little menu on how to do it maybe it's not listening right now i do see that it has this like red light maybe it's deactivated or muted at the moment so we'll we'll play around with it a little and then nice bedside tables and up here it does look like they kind of fit these new things with more outlets and usbs but still only those two over there and then okay so this desk does have outlets as well there are a pretty good amount of outlets there you got two plugs two usbs for each side the bed itself is really nice too just a nice size king bed nice um headboard on the bed there too looks pretty tropical and fun and i really like this light i like all the colors in there and i think actually oh we do have a fan too which is kind of a nice touch just adds to the vibe and then you can see too this door is on rollers and these actually do close so you can kind of section off the bathroom from the rest of the room if you wanted to um, which is a nice little feature to have and then our thermostat is over here it's a nice new like updated thermostat so let's walk around and do one last look around because this is kind of our full room tour and the nicest the room is probably going to look while we're here Ooh, I really like this um, lighting fixture above the door, or above the table area too. That's beautiful. And that's pretty much the room. So yeah, this is one of the updated, oh, one last thing I forgot. We do have a um, clothes hanger hook over here. It's really nice. And yeah, we're in building 42 and we're super excited to stay here. This is one of the king bedrooms and I believe it is one of the updated refurbished ones. So looks really nice. And now it's time to unpack all our stuff. Oh, and one last detail that I did forget to show too. We always like to check to see if there is space under the beds because that storage space really is so helpful for putting suitcases underneath. So they're just totally out of the way and you don't need to worry about them. So that's super nice. We did have that last year in the Trinidad rooms too, but it's nice to have it again. That was one thing Cabana Bay actually didn't have. They didn't have the underbed storage space, which is honestly super convenient. Your, yeah, your luggage just stays completely out of the way. Okay, so we're leaving the room and we're going for a little bit of an adventure around the resort. I think stop one is heading by like maybe a banana cabana. It's still very early, so I don't even know if it's open, but we're going to head over that direction, kind of by Old Port Royale and Center Town Market. We're gonna to try to get our refillable resort mugs so we have those for our stay. And then I think Jamie's gonna lay out at the pool 
and I'm gonna find some food, maybe do a little exploring, and we'll see what else we get up to, but not quite sure yet, but it's beautiful out. Wow, it's so nice. Let's do a temperature check. It's 82 and like partly cloudy, but it feels gorgeous. I was saying earlier, it doesn't feel too hot, doesn't feel cold at all. I mean, just look at the sun on that beach. What a great day to arrive in Disney World. And I do really love all the trees in Jamaica. I think the like staying in this section and having a kind of different type of room. It really doesn't feel too busy. I mean, people are probably at the parks and stuff, but we're kind of anticipating that maybe it won't be, you know, a super busy time at Disney World right now, just because Easter was early this year and spring break for most people has kind of already passed, so. It could be a really good time of the year. And then we're here through Earth Day, and they always kind of do some special fun stuff in Animal Kingdom, especially for Earth Day. And they have a bunch of Lion King stuff going on right now for the anniversary, I believe. And that's actually the first park we're gonna be going to tomorrow. And our first look at the main pool this trip, and then you can see Old Port Royal in the back. It's just so beautiful here. Look out at the water and the Riviera and the Skyliner, of course. So we're here to get our refill cups and they have a couple special things right now. They have the mini kitchen sink sundae actually in our resort here. They have a plant-based spring cupcake, a thumper carrot cake, and a little mermaid bubbles of the sea drink, which sounds like it's kind of like a tea lemonade with some different juices and bobas. Okay, so we got the mug and these are good for refills on beverages, fountain drinks for the duration of your stay. And now we're gonna check out the gift shop, the Calypso Trading Post to see what's new. Looks like a lot of 2024 stuff. That frame is pretty cool. Ooh, a bunch of stitch stuff. That launch fly is actually pretty cute. And the shirt. Oh, this is the lounge fly that Jamie really likes. It's like a new aqua sequin one. I'm gonna have to send her a picture. Ooh, and then I see all the park stuff back there that I like. I always love the Skyliner and transportation stuff. I actually have this pen, and then I don't have these Skyliner socks, though I have another pair of Skyliner socks, but I do really like those ones, so maybe I'll have to get those socks on this trip. And then I always love all the Caribbean beach stuff like the Caribbean beach ears, the shirts. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get this pin. I was really hoping to get a Caribbean beach resort pin last year and I don't think they had one. And this of Old Port Royal, this ornament is actually so cool. Got a lot of cool stuff. And I actually really like that lounge fly too. I don't know if it's specific to Caribbean beach, but it's, it's really fun. Let me try to find out actually, because if it is, that's cool. I don't believe so, I think it's just a general parks one, but it is a fun lounge fly for like the beach or tropical vibes. And then I do really even just like this shirt with the parks icons. Ooh, this photo frame is awesome. Ooh, look at this big puffy black jacket, this is kind of cool. It, it's actually like leathery too, it feels really thick and nice. It actually feels like a solid jacket. An even bigger assortment of ears, ooh, I really like the churro ones. Check out those churro ears. And then of course you've got your standard things that they have in most of the gift shops with some different food and drinks and snacks too, just in case you need some, and candy, and just some other things, some practical items too. Ooh, those gummy drop, those mango gummy drops with joy look amazing. Ooh, and I've actually had some of the Toy Story Sour Balts before and they're so good. Ooh, the gummy fish look good too. Chippendale snacks, coffees, teas, and then they always have some house stuff. I mean, it's cool. 
this wouldn't be the type of stuff I'd be buying on vacation, especially when you can get most of it off like Disney Store Online, but it's nice that they have it. And then some of your kind of like first aid, other necessities that you might need to are always here. And then some mugs and cups. Oh, and they do have a bunch of swim stuff too. Like sunscreen and swimsuits and sunglasses, just in case you need. Boom. And then we get to the toys. They have a monorail place out, which is kind of cool. Ooh, I've actually been looking for like Disney Uno, so maybe if they have a good one, I'll get it. Oh, there it is, the Disney Parks Uno. Wow, right as I was talking about it. Probably not gonna buy it right now, but I want to get this before we leave. It looks really fun. Ooh, Disney Parks Candyland is cool too. And some puzzles. This is cool actually, Pirates of the Caribbean place up. Oh, Jamie's gonna think that Maria is really cute. It's the big feet. Jamie might have it actually, but that one looks slightly different than hers. They never have too many plushes in this gift shop, which is the one, one critique we'll, we'll have here. Cause they have way more in like art of animation and pop. Jamie loves these journals. And then the pins, I love looking at these. This one is cool. Oh, I really like that. This is kind of cool, actually. We have a lot of pirate pens here. I like that. I think Jamie's gonna like these princess ones. They look like new ones. Oh, a bunch of dogs. I, I really like this one of Mickey with the balloons for Disney World. Ooh, Hakuna Matata with Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, a lot of stitch ones. We don't talk about Bruno, Luisa, Brother Bear. What is this one down here? Oh, it's a happy birthday cake pin. That one's actually pretty cool. It's in a cool little box too. We are here for Jamie's birthday. Maybe I could get her a special birthday pin if I find one. Oh, Nana, 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 whatever. Oh, a bunch of Peter Pan pins. These are all cool. <gasps> The Dalmatians, Jamie's gonna love that one. And Pongo and Perdita, wow, all of these are awesome. And then they do have all the sets too and some of the starter lanyard kit things. They actually have some really cool ones. I like the Pirates of the Caribbean one and the Winnie the Pooh and the Dumbo, wow. There's a lot of good ones actually. And I love mystery pin sets. All right, we looked around there for a little bit and now Jamie is at Banana Cabana, I think, or she got a drink or some snacks, so I'm gonna go meet up with her and then I might get some food too or do something else at the resort. Here's Jamie's drink from Banana Cabana too. They made her a hoist the colors even though it's not on the menu anymore. Do not so, to tell anyone. Yeah, but it is a good drink, so we love this one, but I wanna try it too. That drink is the best, seriously. So there is Banana Cabana, and that's the pool bar. It's so nice, they have good drinks, good food, right next to Sebastian's and the bay. And I just filled up my resort refillable mug for the first time from the drink station over by Banana Cabana. And it is good to know, just because I'm gonna be walking around and going back to buy our room and some other spots, that if you didn't catch our um, Caribbean Beach Resort pros and cons video that we posted a few weeks back, I'll link it above too and in the description. But a pro tip we had about this resort in one of the pros just overall was that each section does have refilling stations. Unlike some of the values where 
where you always have to go kind of back to the main lobby area and the quick service to fill up your cup. Here they have Coke Freestyle machines spread out, so we should have some in Jamaica. I'm gonna have to check out on the map where they are, but definitely a good thing to know because these cups do not hold that much beverage in them and they go really quickly, so definitely getting more bang for your buck if you can fill often and know where those refill stations are. I'm gonna find that out and I think right now Jamie is just gonna be laying out. It's still really early, it's not even one o'clock and I'm gonna get some food actually. So I was deciding between going to Primo Piatto at the Riviera, trying something from Centertown Market, or and I think this might, might be the winner, going back to Trinidad to have my favorite mojo pork tacos, which that was another pro tip in that Caribbean Beach Resort pros and cons video that we posted, that these tacos are so good. They're like $10 for tacos and fries, so it's a great value, and they can only be found over in Trinidad at Spyglass Grill, so I'm gonna get a little nostalgic from our trip about a year ago and head over to Spyglass Grill and get myself some of those mojo pork tacos because they sound so good. We do have a big dinner at Sebastian's later too, so I don't wanna eat a ton. This resort really is just so beautiful. I was just walking and just stopped for a minute to take take a few seconds to slow down and just take it all in because just look around. We're in Disney World. We're in this absolutely beautiful location at this resort. It's a perfect day. We got the Skyliner in the distance, the wind lightly rippling the water and blowing the trees, the sun shining down, the birds chirping, and it's just a, it's a fantastic day. And this resort really is so beautiful. And looking around and seeing all the colors too, the contrast between some of these pink buildings, the yellow ones, and then all the colors of the Fuentes de Toro pool, and just the trees and foliage, and the hills of the, the Caribbean right here in Florida. And this is a walk I know quite well. That's the Barbados quiet pool area right there. And then we go through a bunch of trees and we'll be crossing the bridge and heading into Trinidad. This is where we walked all the time. And actually Jamie, Jamie and I were both saying when we walked from Jamaica to the main lobby to get these drinks and stuff at first, it almost felt just as far as Trinidad did feel from the main lobby because you have to go through Caribbean Key and we we're already kind of missing having Spyglass Grill so close. I mean, it's not too far off from our room in Jamaica either. Probably like a four or five minute walk, but it was just so convenient being like 30 seconds from the room in Trinidad. Like we really could not beat it. And I just wanted to walk down by the water too, out by the path that we always used to take. Cause we actually stayed in this building right here. Building 35 is where we stayed in Trinidad. And it was nice because we had the Coke Freestyle machine right in 34. And I love looking at the Skyliner just across the water. It's so pretty. And I've actually a couple times while walking here too seen some turtles. I have not seen a gator yet, thankfully. I also haven't seen a snake yet, thankfully. Fun fact, snakes are one of my worst fears. I do not like them. I have a fear of snakes. So I am always on the lookout, but thankfully I have not seen one here. We did see one at Art of Animation, like our first time ever coming to Disney World. We walked right out by the big blue pool and people were screaming about a snake. <laughs> so that was a fun intro to Disney World, but since then haven't really seen too many, but I did see some turtles here last year and that was pretty cool. And I love seeing the snake birds. No snakes for me, but snake birds. Yeah, it's just so beautiful here. Actually, right over on this corner that we're coming up to, that's kind of where we stayed last year. So, we missed that room. And these are all the Little Mermaid rooms in this section. It's just so nice at this resort. And just being back in Disney World. I just stopped on a bench now too, and I've just been sitting here for like, 10 minutes, just enjoying the sights. 
and it's only one o'clock still I just checked the time and I cannot believe it is it is 102 that's crazy it's so early we've never gotten here this early and it was so nice that our room was just ready I changed into some shorts and I might actually our dinner at Sebastian's is fairly early so I might actually after I eat the tacos and stuff go back to the room and take a nap or something because we were up at 4 a.m. to travel here and I don't want to be super tired for the rest of the trip and then I think so our dinner at Sebastian's is at 4.50 so right before 5 o'clock and then after that we might just head over to Disney Springs for the night and do some shopping but we don't have any major plans so we kind of got time to just rest and take it easy before dinner and normally I would do a bit more exploring or go do something active or try something new like go back to Pop Century or Art of Animation and see what's in their gift shops or head over to the Riviera. I was really really having a tough time deciding between Primo Piatto and here. Um, I like to always check out the Riviera gift shop too when I can. I'm gonna kind of take it easy I think and just get ready for the rest of our trip because we are here for like 10 days so I'm gonna head over to Spyglass now and then maybe back to the room for a little bit and then yeah we'll see what we get up to. This section is like a long section. You can kind of see it on the map there but it extends pretty far out like almost to even um, like if you were to go that way a little more that's where Pop Century would be so it's actually really close to that too but it's yeah it's a long section and here we are at Spyglass Grill now. One of my favorites. Oh wait I hope they're serving food right now. This could ruin my plans. I forgot that they do grab and go at a certain time of the day. Oh no. So they do have a fill station here at Spyglass too and they do have cocktails in a bar which is why we loved having this here too for our pool the quiet pool in Trinidad and it looks like they should be serving food, so I'm gonna go see. And they always play fun little Disney movies here on the TV in Spyglass, usually the lyric versions, and yeah, they have a lot of good eats here. I'll try to throw up a picture of them on YouTube if it's easier to see, but yeah, like a bacon cheddar cheeseburger, a Cuban sandwich, smoked turkey breast sandwich, chicken strips, the tacos that I got, and they do have black bean tacos too, and then check out whenever it comes back on. They do have bowls and salads too, kids meals, some desserts, and then yeah, here are some of the cocktails. And Jamie really likes the spiked guava lemonade, the strawberry margarita is good. We've tried most of the drinks from here and they're all really good, so a lot of options and I always say this when we're in here but Trinidad used to be pirate themed rooms before they changed them to Little Mermaid so it is kind of funny to see some of the leftover pirate theming in here like oh look I never noticed on the door for cast members to go into there is a spy glass and again the pro tip the pork tacos look at that tacos and a side of fries for 1064 at Disney and then I've got my drink in the refill cup got my buzzer and I'm super excited for the food so I'm just gonna sit here at Spyglass and eat it and look out at the water and just enjoy this beautiful day. It is so nice. I really do love this restaurant option here. I might I might kind of miss staying in Trinidad. We're excited to see how Jamaica is but mm, Spyglass is awesome. Okay so seriously this is what 1064 will get you at Spyglass. That is a good size meal for Disney and these tacos are so good and they come with a lime so I actually do always like squeezing it on there. And these Disney fries look even better than usual Disney fries. I don't know they look like extra crispy so I'm excited to dig in. This is usually one of my favorite meals from here and it does usually come with like vegetable slaw and crema and a couple other things but I get it just meat and cheese and they're so good. It is just as good as I remember. These tacos are so good with a little bit of that lime squeezed on. They're fantastic. Like the pork is so juicy and flavorful. And yeah, just a honestly like a 9 out of 10 meal for 10 bucks. And seriously one of my favorite things in Disney World now. It, it's kind of like a hidden gem over here at Spyglass Grill. They're actually a great portion size too with three tacos and all those fries. I'm really stuffed and I don't want to fill myself up too much before Sebastian's. So I'm actually going to walk this taco over back to Jamie at the pool and I think she's going to eat it. So a little snack for her before our dinner too. So we were done at Spyglass and leaving and 
here's some of the other pirate theming you can see here too the nine piece of eight and there is additional seating over here too i'll show it just because it is really nice the additional seating right here is kind of for spyglass too it's just like some picnic tables but it's actually so nice that you can just take your food out here sit under the trees and have like a really tropical vibe while you eat the food from spyglass and i'm gonna get heading back to over by jamie to bring her this food now it's taking me a while to walk everywhere though because I'm just moving so slow and enjoying all the views and all the scenery and theming. I really love these types of trees. If anyone watching this knows what type of tree this is, let me know in the comments. I could probably also just do like a Google lens or something. I'm gonna figure it out at some point because I really like how these look. Like, I almost want to say, I used to call them kind of like a weeping willow, but I don't know if that's what this actually is because it does have this like different type of material of the tree underneath it that all kind of hangs down too. Under the other kind of more typical tree leaf looking type things, I'm probably using the worst descriptors right now for these and I apologize, but I'm, I'm pretty in awe of this tree and it's super cool. The fuzzies are actually even on like the trunk and everything too, it extends down. They're just really cool. They sway in the wind. They look awesome out here by the water especially. Um, kind of just hanging down with the water in the background. But they're super cool. Yeah, if anyone knows what that tree is, let me know in the comments. Or let me know if you think this tree is cool too. Okay, anyway, enough with the trees and just taking in the theming. I'm gonna get these tacos back over to Jamie. They do even have signs up though too for like danger, alligators and snakes, so. I am always on high alert. Ooh, I, I did just hear something jumping in there, it kind of scared me. Could have just been like a frog or a lizard, but just for a change of pace too, I am taking the bridge that goes under the walkway on the road. And this is the pedestrians only bridge, it's got some blockers, and it just connects under. I typically just go over because I think it's a little faster when we were walking from our section before in Trinidad, but switch it up right now. It's kind of nice going under here. And then it does basically just connect right back up to by where the other walkway leads across the roadway. Kind of back by the Barbados Quiet Pool. So I'm just going to take that path again kind of along the way towards the Fuentes del Moro pool, which you can see way, way there in the distance with the colorful umbrellas. And yeah, as you can see, it is still quite a bit of a distance, so another thing we mentioned in that pros and cons video, as kind of a con, was the overall size of this resort, because it's massive, and just looking around you can see that it's sprawling and huge. This resort is like bigger than World Showcase at Epcot. It's like bigger than the entire Hollywood Studios park if you look at it on the map. I don't know the full size comparisons, but it's huge. You're gonna do a lot of walking and yeah, we're making our way back there, but it's good. I need the steps anyway. I could use the walking. Can hatch some of my Pokemon Go eggs. I just really appreciate all the colors. Like look at all the contrast here between these plants and then the colors on this kind of deck structure here that we're walking on, like a bridge, and then looking over at the Caribbean Key, the colors are a little more like muted and dull, but in a really cool way, like they've got different colored trees that really do contrast against the colorful areas of Old Port Royal in the lobby, and the Fuentes del Moro pool, and the, the sections in the background. It's so cool. I heard someone say they saw a turtle, and I'm on the lookout, because I always do see the turtles, so. Oh look, he's a big one. Wow. Oh, there's two, there's two. Wow, two turtles in one go right here. Did you see that? Like, that one's really cool, he's got an awesome shell. Just waiting. And I'm not really gonna show it, but you can kind of hear at the pool they're doing like games and activities and right now it's Sebastian Saz. Like instead of Simon Saz. That's funny. Sebastian Saz. And I'm just taking a walk around Sebastian's and looking at the Barefoot Bay. Just to see some more of the resort again. 
It's so beautiful, and it looks like people are actually going out on boats today. Which is really cool. And they do have like giant chests out there on that island, like the Barefoot Bay Marina, and the little lighthouse, so it's pretty fun out there. And I just love seeing the Skyliner in the background, and we're just kind of circling back over now by Sebastian's and the main pool in Banana Cabana. And I think I'm gonna head back to the room. And to get to our room, the quickest way is through this Caribbean key. It's been like 20 minutes and they're still playing Sebastian's yeah, us, so that must be a popular one. And the Caribbean Key is quite interesting. It's just like a little island with some spots to hang out. It's got a playground for kids up here. It's got like a lounging chair area for sun tanning and just really nice plants and foliage. I mean, it is really cool. It's fun to walk through. And the playground is open from sunrise to sunset and that's kind of what it looks like. It just seemed like a fun playground for kids. And these are just some kind of cool little areas where you can walk out and get a cool view of the water and just honestly sit and relax. I'll go out right now and check them out because they're really cool. It's just like little seating areas. You can just come out and grab one and relax. Like it's all about the vibes here, but oh, I'm a little scared of snakes here, especially in this area. Nice Adirondack chairs, nice crows. <laughs> Got a little gazebo here to hang out in. Yeah, just take in everything around Caribbean Beach. So it's just kind of cool that they have this in the middle. I mean, it connects the two sides of the resort together, so they really needed something in the center, so it's not even more walking than it already is. But it's nice that they themed it a bit and made it kind of a cool space to actually hang out into and made it functional. And I love the big bridge over here. And at night, the bridge lights up and it looks super cool. Yeah, I love this bridge. I don't know why. It's just so cool. Section this time, Jamaica, the yellow buildings. I like the look of the yellow buildings. I think they're my favorite colored of the sections. I like the yellow and blue. In Trinidad and Barbados, kind of the ones that we passed by before, they've got more of like the pinkish buildings, which are nice, but I like these possibly the best, or Martinique has the blue buildings, and those are really cool too. That's a rube over there, which also has pink, but it's like a brighter pink. And we're gonna walk along this path, back by the hammocks and everything, and then we'll be right back at the room. It's just so pretty here. I do think one of the priorities, though, is gonna be to figure out where the closest Coke Freestyle machine is to our room, though, so me and Jamie are able to fill these up easily. It's seriously just so pretty. I do really like the plants and the trees in our section. I think we've got some of the best plants and trees. Oh, there's the tree with the purple flowers again. And we've just got a lot here. Like, it looks very tropical. The density of the, the trees and foliage in Jamaica seems to be the greatest. It just makes it a little more green and colorful, too, along with the uh, yellow and blue buildings, which already kind of pop. And then we are also the closest to the Skyliner hub, so that is gonna be nice. Yeah, as you kind of just saw from when we were coming over there, it is a decent walk over to the main pool, though. I think it's almost as far as we were in Trinidad, honestly. And from where we are here in Jamaica, it's probably about like equidistant if we were to go to either Banana Cabana or the lobby for drinks or food or back to Spyglass. They're like the same distance from the room, honestly. So maybe we will head back to Spyglass a few more times too, just for drinks and things, because it is really nice to be able to. And check it out, it's not even two o'clock. And we're back at the room, we did a lot already. We checked in, got our room, Jamie's been at the pool for a bit, walked around, checked out the gift shop, got the food from Spyglass, toured a little bit, and now we're gonna relax before dinner. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more. We're gonna be posting a bunch of our other videos just from our trip here. We're here for like 10 days. If you wanna see more dining reviews, if you wanna see any fun Disney park days or just anything else we get up to in the future, we would really love it if you'd consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for keeping up in Disney and we will yeah, we'll see, see you real, real soon. soon. Yep, yeah, bye.